Ian, and that's really been the struggle, right, is with major power outages, uh, really no communication and loss of so many emergency networks. We haven't really been able to get a good look at Acapulco, one of the uh, areas and, and municipalities that have seen some of the worst destruction here. I will point out that we have just now received some of the first images, first daylight images of the destruction of that major hurricane. Take a look at these. I mean, they're heartbreaking. You can see just the amount of devastation across this city. I want to point out that these are some that have been posted to social media. Uh, so we, I want to sort of relay the information as to what people who live in this community are saying about what this area looks like right now. Uh, one man says, there is very little information, almost none. At this point, no one knows if or how many people have been lost. According to the few testimonies, and without being able to confirm them, but many people say Alcapulco is essentially destroyed, and they are waiting for all kinds of help. I mean, you can see people there uh, sort of looking around and just stunned at the images of where uh, their community sits. You could see, I mean, almost the entire side of that building to your left is wiped out. It's, it's a very tragic situation uh, for this community, something that Mexican officials have said that they're trying to uh, get a handle on at this point, trying to restore that power in order to uh, communicate to the people of Alcapulco, to the state of Guerrero, as to what to do, where to go to find emergency services. We know, thankfully, there were shelters that were opened up for those who uh, maybe lost their homes or didn't have a safe place to be uh, during the height of this storm. Uh, but as you mentioned, Ian, because of just how quickly this turned into a Category 5 hurricane, at least it made landfall as that, uh, there were probably a lot of people caught off guard, maybe even in a dangerous place that they wouldn't want to be during such an intense storm. And so prep preparation for that may have suffered as a result. Now we're looking at reports of the Mexican National Guard. They're trying to get out there, clear the debris, assess the damage, uh, figure out w where people are, what's going on, if anyone has lost their life. If you look at those images, it, it wouldn't surprise me if that has happened. And again, with very little to almost no warning of such an intense storm, I can only imagine the horror uh, that the people there had faced trying to uh, keep their families safe. So uh, this is a, of course, developing situation. And again, I think we also talked about uh, one other major emergency resource. That is the network of seismic sensors for uh, the state of Guerrero. Those have also been knocked out here as a result of this storm. So there are some people talking about whether or not an earthquake has either happened or if it does, if they'll have time to warn people in the event of that. Uh, Ian, I think overall it's a it's a nightmare situation, as you've put it. Uh, people here are now trying to get a grip on the situation. Yeah, Nicole, you just showed us some of those brand new pictures just into Fox weather, and it appears to be exactly what we feared: a disaster of the highest order, especially in the sense that a 24 hour 24 hours out there wasn't even a hurricane warning issued. This was just a tropical storm that underwent this unprecedented period. Of intensification. Nicole Valdez, thank you. We'll be checking back in with you at the bottom of the hour. We may have some new pictures to show at that point. Thank you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.